everyone, and welcome to the Jen Sheelan Podcast. I am Jen of jensheelan.com, and today is Friday, December 1st. Oh my goodness, 2017. How are we already into December? Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. But I'm actually really excited because I'm totally getting in to the Christmas spirit. I know I'm wearing a Halloween shirt, which I will talk about later, but there's a reason. <laughs> You can find me on various forms of social media. I'm on Ravelry, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Tumblr. And I have a Jen Sheelan Ravelry group as well. So come on over and join me there. So if I'm doing giveaways or announcements or looking for test knitters or whatnot, that'll be in the Jen Sheelan group. And for links, you can go to jensheelan.com for my show notes. I think I got all that out of the way. So, whoops, sorry about that. I am joined here by one co-host. Both of them are sleeping on the job. Little Miss Chelsea Bean is downstairs. She's a little under the weather, so I'm gonna leave her down there. She was kind of out cold, so I'm like, kind of like with a toddler, they're sleeping. That's when you get everything done. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll go film. I'll pop in some videos of her so you can get a chance to see her. And I do have Doug the dog with me. He's also sleeping, but now that I have a cookie. Hey, can you show your nose? Oh, there he is. Good boy. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, anywho, let's get on to it. So the <laughs> podcast that I was listening to while getting ready, actually for again, was from Barbara from Knitting I Love. And oh my goodness, I love Barbara. She is so fun. It's so fun to watch her podcast and she's super sweet. And I won a prize from her in the jar thing. So she puts all these podcasters names in a jar and picks them out at random and I won. I was like, oh! Oh my god and I was so behind on watching podcasts and she had reached out she's like so you may want to watch that episode <laughs> and I'm like okay I'm behind I'm gonna catch up because <laughs> she had done one of my patterns as a giveaway too so I'm thinking oh she gave it as a giveaway I should go watch not realizing I had also won a prize <laughs> so she is so sweet thank you so much Barbara both for sponsoring my patterns and giving them away which is amazing as well as the prize that I'm getting I can't wait <laughs> I love giveaways. You know this about me. <laughs> okay. On to it. We're going to go to selfish knitting. You guys, I really have not done a lot of knitting. And I've been busy. And I'll get to that and to why. And of course, life has also gotten in a little bit in the way, too. I was struck down by the plague and was horribly sick for over a week. It was awful. And I've just been busy. I've been busy in my kitchen. And if you've been watching my social media... You'll know why. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I've been having so much fun. But first, I will at least show you the little bit of knitting that I have done. My first thing, let's see. I'll talk about my whips first before my foes. Because the foes are going to get into something and I want to wait. <laughs> These I showed on the last episode and I, <laughs> I called them surprise socks because they're for Frank Sheelan. <laughs> and I didn't want them to see what I was doing because it was for his birthday. They're not done. I, wife fail, but again, struck down by the plague and things happen and I couldn't even knit. I try, I was sitting up forcing myself to try to knit and I'd get like two rows in and I'm like, you are dumb, lay back down. So I was delayed for a good reason. But I'm making Frank Sheelan some socks out of an Andre Sue blank for motorcycle. What? Now Frank Sheelan has a Harley and I believe it's a deuce and it's called a deuce. I'm, I'm, I don't know all the bike names, but I'm going to throw that out there because I'm pretty sure that's right. And man, when he gets in that motorcycle gear, I'm like, what? I may pop a picture in here if I have his permission. Of him in his gear. And it's like the second time I met him, he was all giddied up in that gear. And I was like, damn. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker fell for the whole motorcycle gear outfit. It's like Amanda from the, <laughs> the Yarn Enabler, how she talks about her husband with the tool belt. That's me with my husband in his motorcycle gear. And the tool belt too. I like the tool belt whole thing too, but that, whew, I'm totally getting off topic here. I'm sorry. I'm a little distracted. So I've been working on his socks and I'm using my friend Naomi Buchanan's pattern and she's Cozy Cute Knits on Ravelry. It is her Spellbound sock pattern. So I was like, I wanted to add a little bit of texture to the socks because I'd made him a bunch of plain vanilla. So I'm like, well, why don't I add a little something and do a little something to him? 
So see, it's just giving the pattern a little bit of texture and it's making the colors really pop, which I like. Right? So I finished the one. One sock is kind of done. I just need to do the heel because I'm going to do afterthought heels because that's my jam. And now I'm on the foot of the second one. So hopefully I will get them done in the near future. But now, of course, we're getting into Christmas and he supports Christmas knitting. So he'll patiently wait for his socks. He's very good about that. So he actually suggested a pair of socks for me to make. And I'm like, well, it's going to postpone these. And he's cool. So he's very patient, hubby. Very patient. So put those away. So that's one thing I've been working on. Another is I'm a very good daughter. Do you know why I'm a very good daughter? Remember the crochet tree that I talked about, I think in the last episode too. And I was like, I am not me. I think they're adorable. <laughs> But those loops, I'm like, oh my god, because I made it way bigger than the pattern called for because I used fingering weight yarn, not not worsted weight. So my tree it, with the pattern, it was about this big, and I needed it to be about this big. So it was a lot, a lot of loops. And my mother loves this tree so much, and I'm hoping she won't watch this episode. I don't think she will. Not yet. And I'm like, she loves this tree so much, and I can't give her the one I have because I need it. And I love it and I can't give it away. <laughs> so I'm like, damn it, I'll make her another one. So I did. I found this yarn. I don't even know what it was, but it was very difficult to work with to make the tree, but it was just the right color. I mean, look at that. So I haven't stuffed it yet. I don't even, you don't really have to. It just gives it a little, it makes it a little bit easier to stand up if you do. But it was splitty. It's a little two ply yarn. So splitty. And when crocheting with this teeny little hook, teeny little one. I, oh my goodness. And it's like split, split, split every stitch. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, this is love right here. <laughs> so this, this is part of the reason why I haven't gotten other things done is I was crocheting loops. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get over it. I already made one and then I kind of put it aside for a while and forgot how many loops there were. And it made like going into this one, like, oh, okay, I can do this again. And then I was like, there's a lot of cursing that went into that tree. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> okay. So though that's actually a faux. See, I showed you, showed you a faux. The only whip that I really had that I wanted to show you was his socks. I put this in the wrong category. Shame on me. It's a finished tree. I just need to stuff it. So maybe it's not done. It's still a whip. Okay. This other project that I've been working on, it's technically, it's a faux and it's a whip because I'm making another one because I can't resist. <laughs> I made my Enchanted Forest Pool shawl. Oh my god, you guys! So I've been dyeing yarn, and I will get into all of that later, but these two colorways I'll talk about now that I dyed up. So I don't know if you're an Outlander fan, people, but if you are, I wanted to dye some Jamie and Claire yarn, and I did. Oh my goodness, and I will pop in pictures here so you can see my... I mean, right? Oh, it was so much fun to dye this way. And I usually hand paint my yarns, but this time I got into kettle dyeing and I'm addicted, especially, and these were the first yarns that I did. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I really like that a lot. Like, okay, so maybe I'm a kettle dyer now. It's cool. I'm all right with that. So here are my Jamie and Claire yarns. Oh my God. Like I know they're skeined a little weird because I did it really quick, but uh, uh, like, oh my God. The picture is going to be so much better that I just showed you, but still like the green speckles that I did in Claire, there's more speckles in the, I, I can't even. So what I have done was I knit a shawl out of them. And now with the Enchanted Forest Pool shawl, I, with the pattern, it, it really is good. It, it looks great with two solids or tonals with a variegated, one variegated. And I'm like, you know, I really want to, I want to knit these together in that shawl but it's too variegated. So what solid would I use? I don't know. So I dyed up a green, a dark green. And I was like, I'm going to try this and tweak the pattern so that at the bottom with the water waves, I'll break them up a bit so that they can still look really pretty together, but not too busy and get lost. <laughs> so I need to re-block re this. I'm not happy with how I blocked the bottom of this because this thing is huge, but oh my God, you guys, look at that. <laughs> I'm dying right now. I'm so happy with how that came out. I am so proud of myself. Yep, I am toot toot, tooting my own horn. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. 
<laughs> like I can't even. So I started with the Claire and then I did the Jamie and the green for the garter stripes. And then I just did the green for the frogs because you know, frogs, green. Okay. I did Claire for the lily pads. Oh my God. And then what I did was I broke up the water at the bottom for the enchanted forest bowl. And I did the dark green in between. And I just kind of made up like, as I, I kind of made it up as I went along. And I'm like, huh, I really like that. But damn, I'd really love to see that green as a navy too. Cause I, I could not decide because the, the really good pop of color coming out of Jamie is that green, but out of Claire, it's a lot of that navy, right? So I'm like, which one do I use? So I started with the green, but I'm like, I really need to see it in navy. So I'm also a very good daughter because this one's for mom. <laughs> Cause she's like, oh, I really wanna, that shawl is so pretty, hint, hint, hint. So I'm like, all right, she can't have the original because I can't, that one I, I can't part with. <laughs> I'm like, what if I give her one of these? So I think she's gonna get this one. And then I can keep the second one I'm knitting and it gave me an excuse to knit another one. <laughs> I'm knitting it out of a navy that I dyed. Shut the front door. Can you, you guys like, and I'll pop in some more pictures so you can see the side by side. Oh my god, right? And I have I started it already, but I'm trying to get into Christmas knitting, so I'm like, okay. I have not gotten far. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the Jamie and Claire in the shawl. So it'll be Claire in the navy in here, it'll be Jamie here with the lily pad, so it'll be op opposite of this one. I like see why I couldn't decide? Like <laughs> Yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> I like knitting my own yarn so much. I'm never going to sell any of it because I'm going to knit it off. I love these colorways so much that I'm knitting them again. That whole shawl again. And I'm totally okay with it because this one's probably going to be mine. Yeah. I'm giving the green one away. One of these has to be mine. Mom's probably going to get the green. I'm going to get the navy. I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't committed yet. I have time. I may not because I have to send her box to Florida with her presents. Oh, we have to commit. All right. The navy's mine. Boom. Problem solved. Like I can't. Like I can't. Mm. And I'm gonna have some leftover yarn of each colorway, especially from knitting it twice. So I may get some Jamie Claire socks too. I think I'll, after another shawl, I'll probably be a little tired of knitting the same colors, but we'll see. Cause I'm really excited about them still after that big shawl. And I'm excited to knit them again. So who knows? Who knows what I'll be up to? I mean, really. That's it for my knitting. That is it. I've been shawl knitting, a little bit of Frank Sheelan sock knitting, but the real reason I have not been is because I've been dyeing yarn. I wasn't supposed to talk about that yet, but I can't help it. Oh my God, you guys. I've been dyeing yarn. You already saw the Jamie and Claire, and I'm really excited about that, but I do have more to show you. I'll get to that eventually. We're going to keep that to the end. Especially, it's almost like I'm going to show off all the yarn so people, if you're interested in seeing what I've dyed up, you can watch it at the end. I don't want to put that all in the episode and be like, here's all my yarns and nothing else. Let's not do that. I'm kind of already doing that already because I haven't done anything. <laughs> but I do have things to talk about and show you. And I have a giveaway too. So it was worth it to do a whole episode instead of a knit chat. Just saying. Hmm. All right. Next up. Let's see. Oh, yay. It's beverage of choice. I am thirsty. It is, t it is time. I'm ready. This one, I believe I've shown in a way early episode, but it is worth showing again. This is one of my favorite beers. I don't care that it's pumpkin. Pumpkin is still allowed. It is The Fear by Flying Dog, and it's an imperial pumpkin. It is so good. It is so good. <laughs> it's very strong. Again, because it's an imperial, but it's so good. I'm like, you know what? We got our hands on that. I'm going to be toasting that again to you guys. So cheers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't. It's so good. I'm going to be so sad when it's gone again. <laughs> I miss pumpkin season when it leaves. Yes, I'm one of those people that pumpkin everything. I do. I pumpkin all the things. Okay. What I'm styling. Oh, this shirt was just fitting. And I had wanted to film earlier. And of course, that did not happen. A little closer to Halloween. Oh. <laughs> that ship has sailed. But... For some reason, this shirt, just with me with doing all the yarn dyeing, it seems so fitting. 
So this is a Johnny Cupcakes t-shirt. And if you haven't seen Johnny Cupcakes tees, totally check them out. They're awesome. I love how he takes different characters and turns them into his style. I have a Hungry Potter for Harry Potter, obviously for Harry Potter. That is fantastic. It's a big round Harry Potter with a little lightning bolt on his head that actually glows in the dark on the shirt. So it's pretty, it's pretty great. <laughs> but this one is Compass Cankus. So from Hocus Pocus, I'm like, oh, that has to be mine. And at first they were sold out, but then I, look, I happened to look again and they had more. I'm like, mine, boom, that's a sign. Needs to be mine. So I've had this on while dyeing yarn. It just kind of gave me like that. I'm, I got the pots going and I'm stirring and <laughs> it just seemed fitting. So yeah. <laughs> I like it. I love Johnny. Like I have so many of his t-shirts. I can't even, they're really good quality t-shirts too. So definitely check them out. Link in my show notes. Okay. Phew. I did not talk about something very important when I was talking about my Jamie and Claire yarn. I should totally talk about that now really quick. Oh my goodness. So I, since I had this interest in knitting both these shawls with these two variegateds. I'm like, what if I came up with kits? What? So the yarns with the pattern as a kit for the Enchanted Forest Pool shawl. And you could pick either this or the green that I dyed up. Where is it? There it is. This, I dyed a, dark, a little bit, slightly darker green. Shut the front door. Do you see this green? Do you, did, how did you get on it? How? How? Look, look at this. Uh, oh my goodness. But then how do you pick? I, and I also want to take both of these and knit just a jean. Or I don't even know. I don't even know. But I know, right? I know. he's He doesn't know what to do either. He's <laughs> clearly distraught. But I did want to throw that in there, that it's an idea I'm kind of kicking around. So keep an eye out on my social media for if this comes out. Feel his squish. I just want to squish him. Okay. I have to keep, I'm, you're working, Jen. Come on. Okay, you guys. Now I can get on to giveaways. So for giveaways, I had a Naughty Knitting Sacks giveaway where I had a thread in my group and people comment, went to her shop and looked at all her bags and then commented in the group with their favorite bag of hers. So I have a winner. My winner is, her name is Carol with a K and it's Go, I think it's Golema 30 in Ravelry. So contact me and just send me a Ravelry message or, or through any of my social media, even on here if you comment and or you want to probably do it private because I need your address. <laughs> and tell me which of these two bags you wanted. I believe you wanted the daisy bag, but well, that was your comment, but let me know. So I need your address and which of these bags you prefer. We have the one, very lovely on the outside, and then the screw use on the inside. <laughs> And then we have the lovely daisy bag, very cute, with the a few daisies in there. Love it. <laughs> These bags crack me up. I can't even. <laughs> so Carol, please contact me and let me know which bag you would like and give me your address. So that's one giveaway. Another one I'm doing is the 12 days of Christmas. So a big reason why I wanted to try filming today is it's day one of my 12 days of Christmas. And what I'll do is I'll do a different special each day. And today you can get my Memories of Christmas Morning yarn for 12% off for 12 days of Christmas. Oh my goodness. Like, I can. This is on my gold uh, twinkle base, and I do it on my regular embrace base too. But I, they're all really hard to part with. So whenever I <laughs> with my orders, when they come through and I go to ship them, I am very sad. But happy that they're going to a good home, but I am very sad to let them go every time <laughs> because I'm a huge dork. Can't help it. But anywho, that is today's deal. So go and check that out. That is a limited colorway. So I want to do start. This is my first year where I'd like to do a colorway each year for Christmas. So this is my 2017 version. It's limited. I only have so many left. So if you're interested, come on over to my shop and grab your skein for 12% off. What else do I have going on? So I still have the four season sock knit along going on. So we're still into fall and I have some fun prizes for a winner when that comes up. <laughs> so keep getting your socks in while you can. And then I am part of the Downseller Studio podcast, Pigskin Party 
giveaway too. So I have a discount going on in her group as well as prizes. My goodness, I'm getting to the good part. I'm getting really excited. <laughs> So for knit reading and knit watching, I'm going to send you off to my show notes to go check out what I've been reading and what I've been watching. I will mention the show I've been watching, which is My Hunter on Netflix, and it's interesting. I kind of dig it. So that, I'm, 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 I'm kind of into it. It's moving a little bit slow, but I am kind of into it and where it's going. So I'm going to kind of hang in there. Now we can get on to the weird. First, I'm going to take a sip because I'm a huge tease. <laughs> okay. What's up with all the things? <gasps> you guys, you guys. So like I said, I've been dying yarn. I've already, you know, t started talking about that and kind of blew it a little bit early. That's okay that I talked about it early because I have lots more yarn to show you. Oh my goodness. So if you are interested in hanging out and checking out the yarns that I've been working on, hang in here. And if not, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Okay, ready? Oh my gosh, you guys, you ready? <laughs> I can't even. We're going to put these aside for a second. So this is my first collection, and a movie that is near and dear to my heart is the movie Up. And <laughs> that it's so special to me because we named Doug after the Doug in the movie. So I was like, I really want to do, it's an old movie, but I really want to do some colorways inspired by the characters in the movie Up. So I did. And oh my goodness. I will pop in pictures in the end. I'll have like, I think that's what I'll do is I'll do a slideshow at the very end of this. So you can see all the colors and the inspiration picks. Cause I'd love for you to see why, why I chose the colors that I chose. And it's really fun to see it next to a picture. So I'll do a slideshow at the end of all of this. The first one is the balloons. Oh my goodness. Speckle heaven for all the colors of the balloons that bring the house to the falls. <laughs> The next one, oh my goodness, Carl Frederick Fredrickson. What I did was I took his old man self with his dark brown outfit and his walker with the green tennis balls on it. So I popped in the green for the tennis balls and I thought it was hilarious. This is really the colorway that really pushed me to dye this yarn. I was so excited about these browns with that green. I'm like, I need to do that. <laughs> next up we have Russell. Russell is mainly this orangey color and yellow, but if you look at the buttons that he has, or all his badges, they're all different colors, like with blues and greens and, and whatnot going on. So I want, really wanted to pop them in. And it was fun. The colors are just so fun together. <laughs> then I have Kevin. Kevin! Kevin's a girl? I love it. Kevin was so fun to dye because there were so many fun, bright colors that I got to put together. And I could not wait to get this in the pot and dye it up. It was just so much fun. And then, of course, last but not least, Doug. Yep, he's right there. And I do skein these loosely on purpose when I store them. So I know they're not very pretty when I'm showing you on here, but I don't like skeining them really tight to store them because I don't want to stretch out the yarn. We got a little pink for the tongue, a little black there for his little nose. I just love this one. This one was a challenge for me to do. And I, I think it was because it was so much pressure because that he's like the main character. So the first one I did, I hated. And I'm like, really? Because all the other ones came out perfect on the first try. And I'm like, this one, it really was like my kryptonite. But then when I finally did it, I was like, <laughs> that's a little emotional. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Now, sometimes it's, it's really hard to choose which character to get. So, you know, and I've, I've had a couple of comments on social media that anybody's like, or people are like, are you going to do minis? So you can get one of each one of you get a little taste of one of each, all of them instead of having to choose like a particular character. So I did. I dyed up some minis. There you go. <laughs> Look at the mini dog. I can't even stand it. <laughs> the mini balloons. It's a little bright with the lights. But look, I mean, that was really fun. I'm like, okay, I really need to do minis. At first I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do it. And then I'm like, you know, I really should. Cause that's a hard one. There's five characters. And how do you choose? Like, I wouldn't be able to, if I saw them, I pick them all and I'd be like, I'm going to be broke. <laughs> so having the minis gives me a little like taste of each. And I like that. <gasps> okay. So we've already talked about Jamie and Claire. So we'll just pull them out again. Cause each one dies up a little bit differently. So I like to show no two, like nowhere two are the same. So it's fun to show 
a little bit of difference in them. But you still get all the same colors. Oh, look at Kian. Look at Kian. I love The Walking Dead. If you're a Walking Dead fan, you may like this yarn. And what I wanted to do was not yarn for every single character because there's so many that I love. <laughs> Though, <laughs> Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do like a Rick versus Negan thing. And I had an idea where I wanted to dye a Negan with a mini Lucille. <laughs> so I'm like, well, if I do a mini Lucille with Negan, I should do a mini Carl <laughs> with Rick. So I did. I'm so excited about them. I am selling a regular size Carl and a regular size Lucille too, but I really wanted to do that little set with the minis. And I'm like, I can't. <laughs> so first I'll show you each of these guys in the big ones. Lucille. Lucille with that blood on it. <laughs> the gray for the barbed wire. This one I love so much. So much. <sighs> to go with Negan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then we have Rick and Carl. And again, when you if you look at the inspiration pics at the end of this, you'll see where I'm, dry, I'm like drawing these colors from. Like I really try to pull from their outfits and a little bit of their personality. And even with the outfits, some in some cases, I wanted to go a little bit brighter to really make those colors pop. Like this one, the blues in this. I'm like, I, in it, I'm, <laughs> stop doing your own yarn. <laughs> I mean, it's good that I knit my own yarn, but I need to let it go too. That's like when I knit little to little stuffed animals. I have a hard time letting them go. I'm like, but they're, cause they're each different. <laughs> and it's like, they each have their own little personality and it's happening with my yarn too. It's a problem. I'm like, well, I'm going to keep a skein, but which one do I want? And then I can't choose. And it's a dilemma, but it's a good dilemma because I, I get to dye yarns and it's really fun and I make pretty colors that I like. So, you know, okay. Tangent back to it. So I did dye up the little minis. I'll show you my mini Carl's and mini Lucille's. Ta -da! So fun to do the sets with them as well. Okay. Well, do I have a put those are little doubles? So, oh, I am also a huge Game of Thrones fan. Yeah. Um, so I dyed up some John and Daenerys yarn, and I don't really want any spoilers as to why, but if you watch the show, you know why. So I dyed some John and Daenerys yarn. And I'm really happy with it. Oh my god. So which one do I want to show? This one. Oh, I don't know. This one. Okay. Again, they're all different. Like these are both Johns. I mean, and they have the similar colors and they'd be really fun and knit together and they go, but they still have that little bit of distinct differences in each one, which I love. Love it. Oh my goodness. So that's Jon Snow. And I call this, I have a crush on Jon Snow <laughs> because I totally do. And I would totally, I'd knit, I want a sweater like out of this yarn. And I'm like, again, but I do like, this is totally what the colors that I'm drawn to. So he was the one that inspired this too, is looking at pictures of him. I'm like, I just need to dye grays and blacks and yeah. So I did. And Daenerys couldn't be any more opposite. <laughs> and again, when you see the inspiration pick of her, I really try to pull from her hair and from her dress that she's wearing with a little bit of pink from her lips. So I did that. Oh, that yellow white. Not there we go. It's a little bit of her very, very pale yellow hair. That little pop of pink for her, her lips and her cheeks and that blue from her dress. I just, oh my goodness. <laughs> I want to knit like a little, little bitty bunny out of it, like a little baby bunny. Cause they remind me of baby colors too. So I like want to knit like a little, I have a problem. I'm addicted to yarn and now I'm dying it too. So it's like, <clears throat> it's a problem, but it's okay. It's a good problem to have. So these are all the yarns that I have up. And I could put them away later because <laughs> I'm probably going to squishy them a little bit. Just saying. They may each get a squish before they go in the mail. I'm sorry. But you know, you're a knitter. If you're a knitter, you get the squish factor with yarn that you can't resist. Really? Okay, I'm done. That is what I've been up to. And that is why I've hardly gotten any knitting done because <laughs> I've been in the kitchen dyeing up all this yarn. But it's been a really good time. I'm having so much fun doing it. And like I said, I've really gotten addicted, I think, to kettle dyeing. I, I will still hand paint, but I think I may do a lot of kettle dyeing. <laughs> oh, and my sock blank. This is not listed yet, but it will be soon. I just need a Frank Sheila picture, but I will show it on the episode. And if you are interested, message below. I did a hugger knitter sock blank. <laughs> 
Oh, shut up, you guys. I know. I know. I did a hug a knitter sock blank. So if you know my, slo my, my slogan, it's hug a knitter, they give you warm fuzzies. So I'm like, I need a hug a knitter sock blank. And Frank Sheelan, I love that man, cut out, he has this piece of wood, cut out a template for me so I can, boom, it's a perfect size for me to put on a sock blank and make this with. <gasps> And of course I wanted it in purple since it's one of the colors and the logo. I mean, you know, I mean, really, I, another one, I'm going to I'm gonna have to make another one for myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. The struggle is real. You guys, the struggle is real, but you understand it. If you're a yarn lover, you get it. It's like, yep. Yeah, totally get you crazy. It's cool. So anywho, thank you guys so much for hanging in there and watching this with me. I, like I said, I've had so much fun with dyeing and that, that was really what I wanted to show you today, but I wanted to throw in a couple of other things too, just to have a regular episode and cheers you a little bit, you know, and it makes me actually perk up and put myself together, especially after I've had a couple of bad pain days again. And I'm like, all right, I really want to film. So it actually made me put makeup on. It made me put myself together a little bit instead of just wearing my jammies all day and having my husband come home to a zombie. So I have you guys to thank for giving me that boost. I really appreciate it. Happy knitting, guys. Cheers. Mm -hmm.